morning. Welcome to Preschool Storytime with Librarian Jeannie. That's me, Librarian Jeannie. Now let's sing our hello song. And adults, remember to sing along with your kids. Help them learn the tune and the words. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? That was pretty good. Let's do it one more time. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Now, adults, this is for you. Books offer mirrors and windows. Mirrors are things that reflect what you are like and windows reflect into another, some place that's different than you or where you are. Today's books do both. They focus on common core standards of colors, shapes, and people in, of the world. In this case, Muslim culture through the art and architecture. Speaking of architecture, I have a little red house. And I even have red on today. See red there and red on my sleeves. And in the little red house, there is a little yellow house. And in the little yellow house, there is a little green house. See my green behind me? And in the little green house, there is a little blue house. And again, I do have blue on. I have a couple different shades of blue on my shirt. And in the little blue house, there is a little pink house. I got my houses mixed up. The next house, supposed to be in the little pink house, is the little gray house. And in the little gray house, there is a little purple house. And in the little purple house, there is a little orange house. And in the little orange house, there is a little white house. What do you suppose is in the little White House today? Let's, shall we open the door? Ooh, look at that pretty design. When you see the beginnings, the end pages and the frontispages pages of our books today, you'll see that this is my try at making a design that they often have in tiles on in the Arabic and Muslim world. So let's start. And also they have, we have a lot of other colors in this book. This first book is about colors called Golden Domes and Silver Lanterns, a Muslim book of colors by Henna Khan, illustrated by Mer Merdokt Amini, published by Chronicle Books and used with permission. This is the design that I was telling you about. You might try your hand at making a design like that afterwards, a colorful design that's sort of geometric. Red is the rug my dad kneels on facing toward Mecca five times a day. Blue is the hajib. Mom likes to wear. It's a scarf she used to, uses to cover her hair. There's a dog too. Dog looks happy.
gold is the dome of the mosque. Big and grand, beside two towering minarets. White is a kufi, his hat. Grandpa wears this traditional hat. Black is the ink I use to draw the Arabic letters that spell Allah. Orange is the color of the henna, my henna designs. They cover my hands with leafy vines. Henna is the ink that they use to make those designs. Purple. Purple is an eyed gift just for me. I open it up and love what I see. Eyed is the last day of Ramadan. Yellow is the box we fill on eyed with gifts of zakat, money, for those in need. Green is the Quran. I read with pride. Grandma explains the lessons inside. This is the special book that Muslims read. Whose that is? Silver is a fanus a twinkling light, a shining lantern that glows at night. Here it is, special lantern. All the colorful things we've seen make up the world of my faith, my Dean. And Dean is the Arabic word that means way of life. This book has a glossary, a list of words that are used that might be unfamiliar to you that are, you can look them up. Some of them I defined for you. And then this absolutely beautiful design at the end of the book. Okay, let's get some movement going on, okay? Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together, clap them fast, clap them slow, clap your hands together, wave, wave, wave your arms, wave your arms together, wave them high, wave them low, wave your arms together. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet, stomp your feet together. Stomp them loud, stomp them soft. Stomp your feet together. Now, our second book is Crescent Moons and Pointed Minarets, a Muslim book of shapes by Hena Khan, illustrated by Murdoch Amini, published by Chronicle Books and used with their permission. And you might remember that this book is by the same author and illustrator and publisher as the previous book, but it's about shapes. Again, it has absolutely beautiful designs on the end papers. And I want to show you the back of the book. Look at that.
cone is the tip of the minaret, so tall. You see the cones here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hear soft echoes of the prayer call. In the Muslim world, they call people to prayer five times a day, and the person who does it gets up there on that balcony and makes his call, tells them when it's time to pray. Rectangle is a mosque's carved wooden door filled with a pattern that reaches the floor. Look at that beautiful door. The mosque is like a church. It's a place where they pray. Octagon is a fountain. It's water so blue. I wash before prayers and make my wudu. Wudu is ritual washing. How many sides are there in an octagon? Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octagons have eight sides. <clears throat> Triangle is a mimbar's thin set of stairs. We hear a short sermon before Friday prayers. See the triangles here? Oops. There's a triangle. A triangle. Triangles have three sides. Arch is the mirab that guides our way. We stand and face it each time we pray. They put arches in their buildings, little niches, so that they'll, that are facing, so that they'll know in the direction of Mecca, which is the holy city, so that people can know where it is. Cube is the Kaaba, a most sacred site where Muslims worship day and night. You know what a cube is? A cube has six sides, and it's it's got a square on each side. So like you could have a cube of butter. That might have a rectangle on one side or two sides. But that's what a cube is. See, right there, big box. Square is a garden. with sweet orange trees. A hint of Jana on its fragrant breeze. Jana is the name of the garden of paradise. That looks sort of like a parad paradise, doesn't it? Circle is a daf, a drum, large and round. We fill the air with its festive sound. See that round drum to beat on? And here's another one. Hexagon is a tile, bold and bright, painted with an ayah I love to write. See, there it is. How many sides does the hexagon have? Do you remember? One, two, three, four, five, six. And in the middle here is Arabic writing, a verse from the Quran. And this has other, other shapes in it. You see some triangles? I see one, two, three there, and some over here and here. What is that? It's a diamond shape or a parallelogram. If you hold it that way, you can tell more that it's a parallelogram there. That means it has opposite sides that are parallel to each other that go in the same direction. 
oval is the table where we break our fast when the sun sets its iftar at last. They fast during the day and at night when the sun goes down, they have a wonderful feast it looks like. Diamond is the design on eyed clothes. You see the design on her dress, her caftan? A caftan so long, it reaches my toes. Look at the, her toes down there. It is long, isn't it? But it's pretty. Crescent is the moon. Brilliant in the sky, it whispers salam as the day passes by. Salam means peace, but it also is a greeting. Good night. So much beauty in the shapes that I see adds to my faith and the world around me. Look at all those different shapes. Let's see if we can remember which ones they are. There's a cone at the top of the minarets, and there. There's a crescent. There's some diamonds. And this book also has a glossary. A list of words and their definitions that might not be familiar to you. And there's another beautiful design on the end papers. This one had the design in red and orange and yellow at the front at the beginning of the book and in blue and green and turquoise at the end of the book. Maybe that means the sun is coming up and the sun has gone down. I don't know. I'm just making that up. So I hope you enjoyed these books, learned a little bit about colors and shapes, and a little bit about the Muslim culture and, and architecture. That's the end of our story time for today, our books for today. Let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Goodbye. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye, friends. Um, I'll see you next week for Preschool Story Time with Librarian Jeannie. And in the meantime, don't forget to go to our library website, www.santacruzpl.org, for more information about other programs that we have going on. Um, on December 12th, there's going to be a special magic show, and I, you'll have to go to the website and to our calendar to sign up to get the link for that, but don't miss it. You don't want to miss it. It's a special winter magic show. And there are other sort of fun things going on 
all throughout the calendar and um, that you might enjoy. Plus, you can get really good books from our catalog. So, bye-bye. Thank you.